Hello everybody and this is Narendra Kumar and uh, from Narendra Academy and today our concept is average velocity and later we'll do instantaneous velocity. Now average, we know the meaning of average. Suppose we have a class and some people are of a taller height and some people of a little shorter then we take an average of the um, whole class height, heights average. Or like you have some people getting 70, some people got 80, some people got 40, then you take the average, we get around 60. How it comes in motion, we'll see. So first, let's see non-uniform velocity. In the last uh, lesson, we saw uniform velocity. So non-uniform velocity is simply put how it is in real life. Like it goes like this, like this. You know, uh, if you have to put it in one dimensional motion, then maybe we'll take equal intervals. One second, it goes, let's say, two meters. And then we'll take equal intervals. And the second it goes, let's say, 4 meters. And, and the second it goes, let's say, 13 meters. It goes very fast. So it goes 13 meters. Or it's a 12 meters to make it simpler. So, so that this is A, B, C, D. Let's say the body went like this. is obviously not uniform velocity. It did not, did not cover equal intervals in equal intervals of time. It did not cover, cover equal displacements in equal intervals of time. It did not cover. So this can be called definitely non-uniform velocity. Now, if suppose somebody comes and asks, how, what was the velocity with which you traveled in this trip? Can I give one number? I cannot give one number. I cannot give one formula. Yet, if he says, no, I want one formula, then we can give one. We can still give one formula. So we can still give one number. How do we do that? We can do it. Take the total displacement. Total displacement. So, the total displacement is 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. So, 18. So, 18 meters it went and what's the total time? Total time. Total time is 1, 1, 1, 3 seconds. So in 3 seconds, actually in 3 seconds he went 18 meters. Though he didn't actually go at 6 meters per second, he averagely went 6 meters per second. Definitely we can say that. So even for non-uniform velocity, we can get one number. Total distress, displacement by total time. So, the average velocity formula and this is not a mathematical formula, it is total displacement. This is physics formula, total displacement by total time. If it is speed, it will be total distance by total time. So, total time. This is velocity, average velocity is total displacement by total time. So, if the total displacement is 40 meters in let us say 5 seconds, then the average velocity will be 40 divided by 5, it is 8 meters per second. The units are the same. So definitely we can find the average of a velocity. So that completes the average velocity. It is fairly a clear cut concept. But you must understand that the body is not actually going at 6 meters per second here. But if it had gone 6 meters per second, starting from the same time, it would have ended at the same time like how it ended here. So, that is obviously average velocity. Now, we come to a third very, very interesting concept which you will learn very deeply later on. Instantaneous velocity. So, I am going on a bike and I just look, look at my speedometer. I can see it is showing let us say 30 kilometers per hour. At that instant, as soon as I saw it, its velocity was 30 meters per second. I was going in a straight line. That is instantaneous velocity. The instant at which, that instant, what is the velocity? Because next instant, it can change. Previous instant, maybe it was something else. So, we want to know at that instant, what is the velocity at that moment of time? That is called instantaneous velocity. So, we have this third concept. You will understand the uh, instantaneous velocity more deeply uh, two or three lessons later. Why this is important? Because at every instant the velocity could be changing. 
at every instant the velocity could be changing so we must know through graphs and all that at that instant what is the velocity it's a very simple concept but a little depth is required to understand that concept completely and i would say there's a crucial concept where people many people get confused there are two concepts instantaneous velocity and the concept of uniform acceleration which is the subject matter of our next lesson that are crucial you get that concept you have got kinematics which is one part of mechanics then we have newton's laws so these are two other core deep concepts and then we have gravitation so newton's laws gravitation and kinematics are the deep core fundamental concepts in physics in mechanics okay so next class we'll see uniform acceleration Okay, thank you. This is Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy.